Well, tonight, San Francisco is saying enough with the brew pubs. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano on the new crackdown that could limit where and what you drink. So here in the Mission, you know, and since uh, 1996 with the dot-com boom, was the beginning of a train wreck just coming through the neighborhood. Roberto Hernandez has seen firsthand the changes his neighborhood has gone through in the last 20 years. We are ground zero for gentrification in San Francisco. Hernandez actively fought for a moratorium on new liquor licenses in 1996 and won. But in recent years, he says businesses have found loopholes to set up shop. We're saying, you know, enough is enough. We don't need any more liquor outlets in our neighborhood. In a lot of ways, it's a necessary evil. Tom Tierney, though, is a business owner who welcomes the competition if it's the right kind. He opened up Pop's Bar five years ago and has made an effort to make sure his business fits in with the community. There's been a lot of changes. There's a lot of money coming in, and people want to keep the flavor of the neighborhood. Alicia Navajas, for example, enjoys the new bars and restaurants in her neighborhood. She feels closing this area to new businesses is not the solution, but the city can set some guidelines on how new establishments can enrich the cultural history of the mission. I would say that the people responsible for that can make people accountable and make sure that the bars that are opening are, you know, local to us and are serving the community. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. The amendment would limit the number of restaurants and bars to 167 in a portion of the neighborhood. It's part of the Mission Action Plan 2020, which aims to curb gentrification. Well,